I'm Coral Size Makeup, and I'm going to do a Shamrock Shake Inspired Makeup Control. Before we get started, I did my brows, BB cream, and my left eye off camera. I need to get another Dollar Tree BB cream soon at my local Dollar Tree. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be 99% drugstore and affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's it that, let's get started. Just a disclaimer, I have a tiny cold sore on this side of my mouth. Once I take off my makeup, I'm going to add Glitz Text Medicaid Lip Ointment. It helps. Anyways, the history of the Shamrock Shake started in the 70s. You can only find it in America, Canada, and Ireland last night. Oh, yesterday, I got a Shamrock Shake. I don't know if I had one in my life. It is so good. It's sort of like a vanilla mint flavor. It is so yummy. I got this small to save on calories and sugar. This is what I came up with. It's inspired by the Shamrock Shake that you can get at McDonald's. This is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. That's what I'm thinking. I'm running out of words to say. I love St. Patrick's Day because it involves the color green. And it's a perfect holiday for redheads. So, I like it. I don't know if my makeup mirror lights are washing it out. It is sunny in London, I guess. On to the makeup. Brow primer. I took the hard candy one. You know, drill. And I wait for this to dry before I can do it my left eye. The palette I'm using is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. This is appropriate to do it. I'm taking the mint green, sort of brighter green, and the white. I was originally going to use that rainbow sherbet shade, but I was like, nah, I might as well use the white shimmer shade. The brushes I'm using are two Eco Tools brushes, a crease brush, and a lower lash line brush to keep everything simple. I'm adding a white highlighter and a clear gloss that's older in my collection because I have a cold sore. For the crease, I'm taking mint chocolate. The brush I'm using is the Eco Tools Defined Crease Brush. This brush set is four years old, and it was gifted by my mom's friend. So I have these Equal Tools brushes, the Best Tool brushes, and I guess the ones that my mom gave me for Christmas not too long ago. This is a beautiful mint green. It's sort of lighter than this mint green shirt from Old Navy that I got last year. It's good. This will represent the color of the Shamrock Shake. I need to add one more layer because it's sheer. Pastels look good on everyone. Once I have enough pigment, I'm going to blend it. The car speeder, when I open my eyes, blend, blend, blend. Okay. That looks good. When I did the waterline, I guess I got it in my eye and it was watering. For the lower lash line, I'm taking pistachio. The brush I'm using is the Eco Tools Ankle Liner Brush. This is sort of like on the lime green side. Sort of brighter, I guess. When I was putting on my hard candy eye primer, this morning that consistency felt like mold and putty so i have to work it in like i have to warm it up on the back of my hand okay and i'm going to blend it a little bit this will also represent the color of the shamrock shake it is so good okay for Waterline, I'm taking NYX Epic Waterliner Stick and All-Time Olive. 
This is the only green eyeliner that I had. And I got it around St. Patrick's Day at Walmart. My mom picked it out because all greens are best for redheads. Try not to get it in my eye. Otherwise, it will be watering. Okay. Olive green is a neutral green. And it looks good, especially on redheads. For the lid, I'm taking French vanilla, which will represent the whipped cream or the vanilla ice cream of the Shamrock Shake. And making sure that that mint chocolate shade is there when I open my eyes. This is a shimmer white. And good thing I didn't get any fallout. I'm going to add a little bit to highlight my inner corner. Why not? I got plus mascara to this side and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete for mascara. I took the Volkai mascara. It is a non-waterproof true black mascara. I need to find another drugstore non-waterproof true black mascara. The Wet n Wild one that my mom got me at Dollarama was okay. It was a little bit dry and feeling. This is good. It came with a makeup set from Amazon. And the shimmery white French vanilla is sort of sheer because it's washing out on my makeup mirror lights. And like I said, it is a sunny day in London. I'm going to add a white highlighter for it. I'm taking the Hard Candy Fix My Halo Highlighter. This came in a holiday set that my twin brother Evan gifted for me. I'm going to start on my nose. I added a BB cream so it's a lightweight base. I love highlighters because they're so beautiful. They're shimmery. And it's a way to add a glow. Oh crap, I forgot to highlight my forehead. There we go. As I turn my head to the light, you can see it. For lip prep. I'm taking Chapstick Mint Chocolate Chip Lip Balm. I got this a year ago. And I'm going to with some toilet paper so my lips are nice and hydrated. It is appropriate because it is mint themed and I love it. For clear lip gloss, I'm taking Rimmel All My Gloss in Crystal Clear. This was also gifted by my mom. Christmas 2020. Oh yeah, it's going strong. The reason why I added a clear gloss is because the attention is on the eyes and highlighter. Here is the completed Shamrock Shake Inspired Makeup Tutorial. This is part of my St. Patrick's Day. Makeup tutorial, well, it is inspired by St. Patrick's Day. In the future, like, I guess a year ago, I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day inspired makeup tutorial all green. I might as well use a drugstore palette. And I might as well wear the same shirt, which is mint green from Old Navy. That looks good. This is my first time doing it. Also, this is part of my... Food Inspired Makeup Series. I forgot to say that. The green is to represent the mint color of the Shamrock Shake. Mint green. And the white is supposed to represent the whipped cream and the ice cream. So it's the highlighter. So stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.